Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to move body parts independently in an image. If you got an image and this guy, for example, here is jumping and I don't like where his hands are or his legs are and I want to move them in the photo, I can do that. Let me show you. Here's the original shot. Okay, now watch this. Here is his new position. How did I do that? From there to there, using just a couple of tools. Well, let me show you. I've got a fresh open right here. So here we go. Here's the guy doing his thing. The first step, I'll walk you through it step by step. First step, take your base layer and then drag and drop it and make a duplicate copy. Now turn that copy, the top copy off, and we're going to work on the bottom copy first. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the subject, this guy here, and we're going to make the background the entire thing. So we're going to replace him and put a background in his place. How do we do it? We go select subject and then if that doesn't work, do keep in mind that you can always use the quick selection tool, tool or the object selection tool to make to select your subject. And now go to select. We're going to go to modify and expand and we're going to expand it by 20 pixels. So we're a little bit outside the boundaries here. So we got about a 20 pixel spacing in here. And the reason why is show, coming up. Let me show you. Now we're going to go to edit, fill, content aware fill. Click on OK and then you'll see presto it's going to go ahead and remove the person now when i go to select deselect which i've just done we now have a decent looking background without him on it the reason why is because when we start to warp the picture which we're going to do in a second here we don't want to warp the background or in this case the sky we just want to work on the person okay so we're now working on the top copy i've turned it on and i've selected it the next step is you want to go to select subject again and this time, instead of modifying it, you want to hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC. And we're going to make a, make a layer via copy. So in this top layer here, it's only the person. It does not have any of the background in it. So I'm just going to turn the layer below it off because it's no longer of any use. And we're now going to work on just this new layer copy. Okay, you're following along with me. Now go over to, uh, let's go to Edit. And we're going to go to Puppet Warp. This is the tool we want to use. And when we do that, you'll see it creates a mesh in a lot of sense. That's basically what it is. It's just a mesh. <laughs> Not a mess, a mesh. M-E-S-H. Now you get the option to apply pins. So I'm going to left click here. And you're going to notice that I'm just applying pins. And what these are is basically they're just little pins that allow you to manipulate and rotate and maneuver different parts. So I'm just going to work on his on his leg here. But let me show you. I've got this pin here. If I move this up, all of a sudden, we've moved that body part. And let, we can keep doing this inch by inch. Oh, I missed a pin. Hang on. Got to make sure you click on it, right? So I'm just moving this body part just to show you what you can do. Like if you want your foot going up like this, for example, presto. If I want to move him and I want to rotate him, I'll click on this and watch what happens. I've gone ahead and moved him based around this pin. And this pin, I'll just move this one in a little bit so that it looks a little more natural. And presto, just by doing that, I have completely moved his body. And I've moved his body parts. I've adjusted his foot, although it might not look 100% natural. I might want to make this look a little better here and make that a little thicker, something like that. Either way, guys, that's how you do it. And now let's compare to the original. So I'll turn that, uh, I'll hit enter to apply it. And now here we go. This was the original shot, as you remember, and now this is the new shot with a new foot, even though it looks a little funny, but that's the technique. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.